Do you remember the Hoover Enigma that we bought from the car boot for a fiver? And I have to say, initially, I, I didn't like it. This was actually supposed to be a donor for a Hoover Dust Manager, which you will see the after video of fairly soon. But it didn't need any of it because this doesn't fit it. It is quite different. And if this was a puppy, I would say that we saved its life and we deserve a medal to society. Because this thing is brand new, pretty much never been used that much before it clogged up. And we've saved it. All we've got to do is fit a couple of bits and we can see if it works any better. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and terrible Hoover chums. How are you today? Is it terrible though? I'm actually changing my mind again. I, I bought this as a donor machine and obviously that didn't work out, but I had no love for this. It was the only thing there anyway. All we'd have come home with is that dirt devil if I hadn't have bought it. And yeah, I'm quite glad we did because they've actually made this better than the pure power slash dust manager generation. The bit of the chassis by the recline pedal has extra plastic on it. They've beefed it up significantly for some strange reason. This entire switch housing is held on with five screws rather than three. And yeah, I mean, the seal hasn't gone back in properly yet, so the door isn't fitting too well, but yeah, it has a bag holder. The base plate arrangement is different. You undo every screw and then the hood just lifts fully off. And again, there's extra, you know, the brush roll is very nice. This thing has its new belt. Yeah, it's, it's strange really. The cheap and nasty vacuum cleaner is actually better-ish than the older ones. Of course, the front is plastic. It's also covered in this soft touch which i mean i'm a little bit worried now that if i do keep this it's got to go in the loft at some point and this is going to do what all old technology does with soft touch plastic and go all gunky and horrible it's not gunky and horrible at the minute the hoover cleaner is okay it was covered in grease and filth it's the guys obviously chucked it around you know scrapper chucked it into his warehouse and out to try and sell it for ages it was disgusting just a good wash fix if as you can see even for me just touching it now it is pretty terrible i also noticed the big hole that's something that we should probably fix first with some of the contents of this bag because we needed some bags. So I spent literally more than we paid for the machine because that's how it works on some bags. And I actually mugged myself off a little bit because I clicked on the wrong listing. I bought these from a seller that I bought some of those Electrolux ones from before over in Germany. And that was 12 pounds and I was happy with that until I scrolled a bit further down and saw some of the For Your Home ones for five pounds. But dang it, I'm not gonna buy them twice. They came, but actually, I is a better thickness and quality than the For Your Home ones. And the bag card is really, really quite nice. So that should stop down into there and push onto there. And I've actually got a pause. Because I left the pre-motor filter in the air in cupboard and hadn't taken it out. Yeah, this, oh no. I'm trying to take the bag out, but if I pull on it, it's got the automatic close mechanism. We'll just leave it in there and tuck it up out of the way. Uh, yeah, this came up really, really well. It only had the fine layer of dust from when we used it mainly. So that can go back on there. This thing is Oh, I say very new, it's 10 years old. This dates down to 2014 in the boat. This thing feels brand new to me, but it's not, it's very, very old. Now we're gonna try and fit the back door on, although it's, it, it just doesn't sit right at the minute. That seal isn't sitting in its groove properly. And it's annoying really because the cable goes down this side and this sticks out too much. The other side got a filler piece of rubber and it sits flat. This is not sitting flat. So that's about the most problems that we're gonna have with it. So hopefully it'll sort itself out as we use it. 
and be okay, I guess. Who knows? It's still at its heart a hula pure pal. Right, let's look at the back, which is sucking the light out of the shop. We may as well drop the cable because we're going to need to plug it in in a second. Yeah, the top cord hood makes that cracking sound every time you use it. And I do think I've snapped it several times. I never have. Whoops. We need to pop the, again, not correct, I forgot about it in the airing cupboard because it takes a little bit longer to dry, dusting brush, but it'll do. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. And then we need to fit the hose, the problem with all of it. The reason, pretty much, that we got it for a fiver and it washed up pretty flipping fantastically. Nothing wrong with that at all. So this side goes into there. And then, yeah, it's, it's a really nice length of hose. Full stair cleaning, I'd imagine. I mean, you'd want to pull the hose through there a lot further to clean your stairs. But yeah, anti-tip. I mean, yeah, the Hoover Turbo Power 3 had it. Did they Turbo Power 2s have it? I can't remember now. And yeah, Hoover probably marketed it as an amazing, brilliant, new innovation. But obviously, it's not. And look at how that keeps popping off in there. It worked better on the Turbo Powers as well. Never mind. The only real problem with the whole machine is, yeah, well, every flipping silver bit has a scratch on it. What I did try and find, and hey, if you've got any scrap pure power parts, give me a nudge. If we get a nice black handle and black switch cover from anything, that will probably look a lot nicer, because, yeah, that's been, that's been gouged deeply. The bag door scuff, you can sort of look beside that if you know where to not care. Oh, let's pop this down into there, which oh, is there, whatever. We'll take it off in a minute. All I did with this was run the big blower over it and didn't really blow any dust out of it either. That is, literally, that got no dirt on it at all. I think it was used with a bag, and then luckily it wasn't, they didn't try and use it without a bag after they decided to kill it. Let's recline it quickly again. Because, yeah, show you underneath quickly. Oh, and there we go, look, the back door's fallen off already. This is what I mean. Brush roll. People have told me that it's actually quite good. Um, yeah, the dust manager that you've seen the before video of needed a brush roll. When I was, before I even looked at it, I put my hands under it at the car boot to check it had something. But yeah, thank you very much, cheers. Walked away. It's a modern brush roll from the Hoover Blaze that we did. It's pretty much that roller but people have said it's quite good and from the before video i actually think i might agree i'm almost looking forward to this now i think this may actually be quite good it's bagged and it's now got really good bags in it like way better probably than the spec well they're actually i don't know it's from the modern era they got quite good let us plug it in um, well, it still works. It did before. Oh, one problem is I broke the original on-off switch that did pivot. So a Hoover Turbo Power 2 switch fits fine and the switch pops onto it. Not a Turbo Power 2. Well, it is. Turbo Power 2 and Pure Power. So now push in and push out. And I can't be bothered to find the correct switch. That's fine. We'll take the hose off and check the suction. Fifty watts. It's it's not bad. What we didn't look at properly in the before video was the turbo tool. We went, yes, it's got one, and then paid little more attention to it. But it's here. It wasn't that bad. It was a bit dusty. I gave it all a good wash, and that was it. Really, it it, it would have spun fine anyway. Does it spin fine though? <laughs> some weird air venti things in there it doesn't seal it fully but i suppose that's because it's eco i presume it's going to stop as soon as i touch the floor with it <laughs> oh. Oh. A 
Okay, forgive me, friends. We're gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question here. Yeah, that is really killing all the airflow. But then I saw him inside. I went, oh, look, there is a set of wings. I mean, if we take this pure power upholstery tool, the crevice nozzle fits inside of it. Because, yeah, this was part of the whole extended reach. It was legitimately how you were supposed to use it. I mean, it sounds horrible. <laughs> It works, but no, I guess because this tool was built in a different generation to when they designed this scabbard tool is. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, insert your own rude joke here. No, there's nothing. And I guess if I put the wand in, yep, yeah, we've still got that weird, I don't know, that is very strange and actually quite annoying. Because it does ruin that head. And even, which is very strange, the adapter that it sits on, oh, see the little notches, they align with that, and I really hope that they didn't go to all that effort just so that that only sat at that angle in order to sit on there, because if they did, they kneecapped that poor turbo head by doing that. <sighs> Let's hope they didn't destroy anything else on this in terms of using, because we're going to give it a go on the floor. <sighs> right, we shall set the, well, the HEPA filter to its lowest position and see if it touches the floor. And all of a sudden it's actually quite nice. I mean, you're still pushing it in with your power. Got it. got this so right, yes Hoover, A for effort, A for energy class, definitely the Hoover cleaner of the modern era that I don't instantly want to vomit all over, I mean wow, it's, I had a couple of plans for this, I was going to modify it and, or use it for spares, but I really do like it, I mean hopefully inside of there is going to stay dust free forever. And yeah, oh, I can't even show the bag of it's still empty, I'll grant you that. But oh, it grooms the carpet so well, I accidentally quite like it. So yeah, you were right in the comments, those of you who said, actually, these aren't bad. You're right, they're not. I think the bag is sealing, bag door even, is sealing up fine. <laughs> And indeed, doing that has helped her close it up significantly. I'll probably finish it. I guess it's just what they do and what this is always going to be. Oh, yes, that was the other improvement. These wheels on the Pure Power have got a plastic thing on them that just clips into place. And that's what wears all out. This has got a metal bar with an actual metal circlip in it, which is very strange to see, because normally the only metal you ever see on a modern vacuum cleaner are the screws, the wires, and the motor. Everything else is plastic. This is still that machine, but I like it. What have I done? Oh my goodness. Perhaps the only modification we might do one day, if I can be bothered, is I've got a 1500 watt pure power motor sat in the shed and it would be a little bit interesting to see if that peps this up with that brush roll. We might have to play around with that another day or comment down below if you've done it and it's not worth doing and we don't have to bother. But yeah, it's, yeah, even down to its weirdly, this is the only 
clear tool that is, translucent tools. I think I like this. We've accidentally bought something that I thought I was going to just not like very much and we could get rid of quickly, but I quite like this. We might keep it around a bit. I might even, uh, I'm going to be mum's in a couple of days. I might chuck this in the car, see what it pulls out that the poor DC 49 probably isn't, let's be honest. Even though they love it, I might run this round and have a play. But who knows? Uh, yeah, whoops. Bought a thing that I thought was going to be trash. And, well, it is, but it's good trash. What do you think? Have you ever had one of these enigmas? This, don't forget, is the 750 watt, not quite a full miserable spec one. They did go down to 250, but that, well, 350, but as Mr. Parwise found out, they have 250 watt motors in them. That's the Evo. This is the enigma. I think this, apparently, this being the soft touch Matte is the 750, gloss is 250. You know, it's might to get one of those one day, see what that's like. But until that day, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I, and this, all right, vacuum cleaner, will possibly see you soon. Happy Edamering.